Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Intel SSD 520-series 120GB solid-state drive. But let's get right to the box. Again we're looking at an Intel solid-state drive from the 520-series. This is the 120GB drive and it seems like Intel also includes a desktop installation kit. This SSD works for desktop and mobile systems and should offer high performance. On the back of the box you get more information on what is included in this box. You see there's a whole lot included and that's always good. On this side you can see the product code, serial, batch number and so on. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Alright, obviously there's the cardboard box in there. Now let's open this one up too and right on top is the SSD which we will get in a moment. Underneath there's the Intel Speed Demon sticker included for your case. A little booklet with important web links for the free toolbox, firmware updates and support. Then here's the mini disk with the installation guide and warranty on it. But there's even more underneath. That's the Molex to SATA power adapter for older power supplies and that's very nice of Intel to include that. Of course you also get a black SATA 6 gigabit per second cable and not many SSD manufacturers actually include these. To mount your SSD into a drive cage or adapter there also are two different types of screws included. And last but not least the 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch adapter so you can still install your SSD into the case even if your case doesn't support 2.5 inch drives. You just mount the SSD onto this adapter here and then you just install this 3.5 inch metal piece into your case just the way you'd install standard 3.5 inch hard drives. Again also very nice of Intel to include that. But let's move on to the solid state drive itself which is in here in an anti-static bag. Let's take the SSD out of the white box here and then the anti-static bag. Alright there you go. This is the SSD itself. It looks very basic but still a little bit more special compared to the rest of SSDs on the market. But hey, that's Intel. The drive itself doesn't look bad at all. We're talking of an aluminum casing here and right there you can see it's the 520 series and it's the 120 gigabyte version. What I personally really like is that Intel tells you right away which firmware version is installed for the drive. You see it directly on the label, in my case it's 400i. It's a little weird to see that black plastic frame here on top of the SSD. But this probably has something to do with the width. If I'm not mistaken, this is the 9.5mm version. I think there's also a 7mm version available. As always SSDs are very thin, but I really like the robust construction of this drive. Unfortunately the back of it doesn't look as nice as the front. But this is the problem with aluminum sometimes. But we shouldn't be concerned about the aesthetics of SSDs too much, since you can't really do much about it. And to be honest, most people really don't care, especially when it comes to internal storage devices. Here are the standard SATA connections. And yeah, because these 2.5 inch solid state drives have the same form factor as laptops for example, you can install this SSD but SSDs in general in desktop and mobile PCs such as laptops, netbooks and so on. But let's get to the specifications. The Intel SSD 520 series 120GB solid state drive offers 120GB of capacity and uses the Sandforce SF 2281 controller which is based on the 25 nanometer MLC NAND technology. The SATA 6 gigabit per second interface is used and Intel advertises a sequential read result of 550 megabytes per second and 500 megabytes per second on sequential write. The max power consumption of 0.85 watts is very very low as well as the 0.60 watts on idle. In Crystal Disk Info the SSD gets detected without any problems and right here you even see the firmware version 400i. Unfortunately there's no temperature sensor present and therefore you can't monitor the temperature of this drive. But with 
not even one watt of power draw, you can't really expect to see high temperature results anyways. So I see why Intel didn't install a sensor. The health status is good 100% and there also are absolutely no errors whatsoever. But let's move on to the benchmarks. So the Intel SSD 520 series 120GB solid state drive is a really good choice and is priced competitively. As of right now, the speed so transfer rates of the SSDs don't show large differences from brand to brand. It really depends on the generation and the price. In this price point, this Intel SSD often is a little faster than the rest, but there are also results to see where other SSDs perform a little better. But these are benchmarks. In real life scenarios you wouldn't notice much difference of like 5 to 10 megabytes per second more or less on read or write. As you saw yourself Windows 8 booted up very quickly and so this SSD but let's say SSDs in general are perfect for installing your operating system on it. It will not just boot up faster but it will be much smoother and faster overall. But what makes this particular Intel SSD 520 series drive special? Well nothing to be honest. It's just the name Intel and the long 5 years warranty you get on this SSD. So probably reliability is what could make this solid state drive stand out from the rest. But as of now nobody can really confirm anything when it comes to the lifespan of these drives as this takes several years in most cases. Pros are great price performance ratio, good overall performance, it's very silent, has a nice design and lastly comes with a 3.5 inch adapter and a SATA cable. I have nothing to say for the cons though and because the performance is well balanced or just a little little bit better than the rest and because there are good accessories included I give this SSD a 10 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.